How did you get this job? I started with really no experience. So actually got into, I went to school for exercise science, um, which proved to be pretty useless. Learned a lot about human physiology, but didn't learn a lot about business. And then quickly I knew that I wanted to leave my hometown. So I lived in Portage, Michigan, pretty small town. I moved out to California because I was a big, like Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, they all said, move to California. That's where all the successful people are. So I was like, of course I need to go to California. So I packed up my little Prius. I drove out there. I got like an apartment, which ended up being like in the ghetto, which is why I could afford it. Um, and I went and I mapped out in walking distance where the closest gym would be. And that was because I had a degree in exercise science. Again, useless, but not for this. So I figured I can get a job at any one of these gyms that I can walk to. So I went and I applied. I got a, a job offer at, I think, all of them, um, <laughs> which you did. <laughs> <laughs> and then I picked 24-Hour Fitness, actually, because it was the quickest one that I could make money at. And I had $5,000. I just moved out there. My rent was like $1,200 a month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I need to make money immediately because that's just right. I have to eat and all that. Yeah. Put a timestamp on this. So what year are we talking about here? And I want to say this was like 2013, maybe. Okay. 2013. So we are, we're basically uh, six, five, six years into or coming out of the recession mm -hmm. of 08. Uh, things are getting better progressively. It's all about Facebook and Instagram at that point in terms of social. Snapchat mm -hmm. is starting to become a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. It was right? a thing. What else is happening in 2014? Where in the country, where in California did you move? Costa Mesa, Newport Beach area. Okay. okay. Yeah. I know it well. Those are yeah. my stomping grounds. Yeah. You know the 24-hour fitness in the triangle there? In the triangle square? Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah. That's a hot spot. Is that I didn't know that. The first time I walked in, I kid you not, and this does not happen there all the time, but I'll never forget coming from Michigan. It's like people working out at the gym, sweatpants, hoodies, whatever. I'll never forget there's a woman in a sports bra with little shorts and high heels walking on the incline on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. And that just like set the tone for the next chapter of my life. <laughs> that kind of says everything. Yeah. Yeah, so for people who don't know Southern California, there's little pocket communities, right? Mm -hmm. And like you said Costa Mesa, but that's really kind of old Costa Mesa, new Newport Beach or old Newport Beach, kind of right right on PCH, kind of by Hogue Hospital, if you know the place. Mm -hmm. Triangle Square was uh, a super cool new development back in the late 90s, and it kind of fizzled out because they had a big, huge Nike town there, and that was like the cool thing. Okay. It was, And it was big retail shopping, but it kind of failed. But- Oddly enough, that 24-hour fitness, which is a tiny little hole in the wall, I know exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. The parking is terrible. It's super crowded. So when I was single, we used to call the people who went there, they had a very high degree of talent, which meant they're very attractive. Yeah. There's just only attractive people coming out of there. Yeah. Remarkable. Yeah. Like, where are these people coming from? Yeah. It was weird. Weird. Yeah. But that was a spot. Yeah. Because yeah. especially coming from Michigan, it was like, what was a 10 in Michigan is like a like a four in Newport Beach. Okay. So it was a weird, uh, it was interesting. Yeah, a lot of beautiful people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So luck or maybe fate that you ended up being pulled into that place. So I got pulled into there, um, quickly learned that, you know, I needed to understand marketing and sales because they basically handed you a clipboard. They're like, go get 15 referrals and then come back. And that was like your job interview. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know that was supposed to be hard or, or not or what. They were like, go ask people. And I was like, or whatever. What do I have to lose? I just moved all the way out here. Were you saying upselling like training and? No, this was like we didn't have the job yet. They oh, okay. just said take this clipboard, go get the phone number, go get referrals from the people that are already at the gym. Oh, yes, or whatever. Okay. Go to new, Whole Foods go across the street. Yeah, okay. for new signups. Okay. And I remember I did that, and I got. I think I want to say I got short of the goal. I got twelve or something like that. And while I was doing it, I just remember two girls sitting on the sidewalk, in the entranceway under the parking garage crying holding the clipboards and i was like what's wrong and they were like i'm not gonna ask strangers for their phone number oh, okay and i remember thinking to myself oh, girl i gotta eat you know like yes. i'll ask a stranger for their phone number so i think it was really out of um i want to say like desperation or desire to succeed like i just moved out there that i was able to quickly learn the skill of sales first and then marketing to actually have a sustainable career in the fitness industry